Terrier attack. What's going on in here, buddy? Uh... Applet. Welcome to Terrier Tech, where we're here to review the new Motorola Zoom on the Verizon network. It also comes in a Wi-Fi only flavor. No matter what you get, Wi-Fi or the cellular, this thing is a beast. It is, it feels a lot heavier than the iPad, but honestly, they're about the same weight. I think it's just to do with the fact that it's thicker and also a little bit smaller. It does lead to it being a little awkward to hold upright, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you definitely wanna use it either on your lap or on a flat surface because it is a little bit heavy, but the problem with that comes in where they put the speakers on the back of it and also the power button. The plastic body does have a little flex to it, so you gotta be careful not to man grip it and the screen even feels dimmer in comparison to the iPad. Not as much contrast there so it always looks like it's in power saving mode. You have to use the included adapter and man that thing is flimsy. If you're clumsy and you snap that thing you could break your zoom very easily. But the good news is you don't have to charge it very often at all. I got two or three days out of it easily and it actually really reminded me more of a netbook than a tablet especially with the Android Honeycomb operating system. This thing is amazing. It's the perfect hybrid of what you get with a PC with the customization and the ease of use with the Mac. If you're accustomed to using Google products, you're gonna love the integration here. And I love the widgets. Yep, the widgets are awesome and there are a ton of apps. And the other cool thing about the Zoom is that it closes the apps for you. So you don't even have to do it yourself. Yay, so you know, it's true multitasking. And let's talk about that, cause this has the full browser. It does, you can do tabbed browsing yes. and flash. Yay, I've been waiting years for this. I mean, it doesn't work everywhere. You can't look at Hulu, for instance. But we got it to work on most sites. Speaking of video, how were the pictures and web video? The web video was a little rough. It's a tiny bit pixelated, but honestly not too bad. The video you take with the camera is awesome. And the pictures were pretty good too. The one downside to it is that if you want to use the camera, you kind of have to walk around with this giant thing. With all that in mind, what do we give it? This one gets a strong three out of four. Yeah! <laughs> not gonna say anything. We're just gonna have slab, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect. If you are an iPad user, you will get too annoyed with the Zoom experience to really want to do the switch over. It's too expensive for you. But uh, if you're one of those anti-Mac dudes or looking for a more desktop feel with your tablet, check this baby out. That's it for Terrier Tech. See you next time.